dear students in this video you will be getting a nut shell understanding of the egan model so we all know that egan model is basically a universal model that is applicable for counseling egan model basically has three major stages where the first stage is called as understanding the current scenario of what the client is going through the second stage talks about the preferred scenario how the client wants to look at the brighter side of the life and in this third stage we will be talking about what are the action strategies that is required for the counseling process so we all understand that when clients come with different kinds of problems related to interpersonal issues work life balance uh, it could be also academic stress or any uh, any related problems that the client is facing one of the most simplest and universally applicable model that we all can apply is the egan model so in the egan model the first stage where we are going to discuss about the current scenario the first thing that we are trying to understand in the current scenario is what's going on in the client's life so trying to understand the detail aspects of the story that has been narrated by the client so once the story is been narrated by the client we need to understand what are the major blind spots that are there in the story so identifying what's really going on is the client trying to exaggerate the problem or is the client trying to underestimate the problem that the client is facing so once we identify this blind spot we will be able to understand what's really going on in client's life keeping that in mind we can move on to the next level where we call it as leverage in leverage we are trying to basically help the client to prioritize so prioritizing the problems and helping the client to focus on the problem becomes the major agenda in the initial part of the counseling session once the current scenario has understood we move on to the second stage of the counseling processes where we are trying to identify the preferred scenario aspects of the client so in preferred scenario we are working out what are the possibilities that the client is having for example ideally what does the client want instead now currently what is going on in the client's life instead of that how the client wants to look at life or what exactly the client wants that will lead to the next important aspect of counseling session where we are helping the client to have set a very smart goal so this egan calls it as change agenda in change agenda we look at the smart goals so we all know that s m a r t stands for the goal has to be specific it has to be measurable it has to be attainable it has to be realistic and it has to be time bound so once we help the client setting a smart goal probably we can focus on the commitment identify what is the level of commitment the client is having in working on the current problem that the client is facing okay so action leading to valued outcomes so whatever goal setting you have made with the client the client has to apply that in the realistic real life and they have to come back with potential feedbacks finally we move on to the third stage in third stage we term it as action strategy the possible actions how many ways are there so for one problem what are the different pathways that we can help the client with what are the best fit strategies so next point we are focusing on is what will realistically work for the client 
under the best fit strategies, we will ask the client to choose the best options that we have worked out in the counseling site, in the counseling session. Finally, we move on to the last stage of counseling where we are helping the client to plan the best fit strategies. So planning is very essential because the client has to apply these things in the realistic life, figure out how the client is feeling, what is the kind of progress, and the client has to come back for the follow-up sessions. So in a gist, in this video, I have tried to make you all understand how comprehensive the Egan model looks like. So we have the current scenario, we have the preferred scenario, and we have the action scenario. I hope this model will help you in giving a strong foundations for the counseling sessions that you handle in your professional settings. Thank you.